Hi, hello. This is Dr. Jagadish Narendra Prasad, Senior Lecturer in Botany, Sri Chaitanya Goshala Vijayawada. Today, we are going to discuss on lipids. Lipids are water-soluble, water-insoluble molecules. These are biomolecules that are water-insoluble. They are not soluble in water. These lipids may be simple fatty acids. Carboxylic group is attached to R alkyl group. The carboxylic group is attached to the R group. Here, R group may be methyl or ethyl or n number of CH2 groups may be present. And it includes around 1 to 19 carbons. We have some examples regarding this fatty acids. Say, palmitic acid. Palmitic acid. Palmitic acid is a 16 carbon fatty acid. CH3, CH2 taken 14 times COOH. So, this is here, this is R group and it is attached to the carboxylic group. Hence, it is a fatty acid. There is another fatty acid, arachidonic acid. It is a 20 carbon fatty acid, arachidonic acid. Apart from this, this lipids like fatty acids. or two kinds saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids are without any double bonds no double bonds will be present Unsaturated fatty acids with one to many double bonds. For saturated fatty acids, we have some examples like palmitic acid. We can take as one example. Palmitic acid, stearic acid, etc. Unsaturated fatty acids are again two kinds. Monounsaturated fatty acids, MUFA. Monounsaturated fatty acid. PUFA, polyunsaturated fatty acid. Monounsaturated fatty acid with one double bond. And polyunsaturated fatty acids with two too many double bonds. For monounsaturated fatty acid, we have one best example, olic acid. For polyunsaturated fatty acid, we have one best example, arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid. Another lipid is a glycerol. Glycerol is a trihydroxypropane. There are three hydroxyl groups and three carbon. Organic compound, it is a propane, trihydroxy propane. This is another simple fatty, a simple lipid. And many lipids have both glycerol as well as fatty acids together. In such cases, fatty acid is esterified to the glycerol. Fatty acid is esterified to the glycerol. If One fatty acid is esterified. One fatty acid is esterified. It is called monoglyceride. If two fatty acids are esterified, diglyceride. If three fatty acids are esterified, 
triglycerides. Here, three fatty acids are S35. So, such lipids are called triglycerides. These glycerides are again two kinds fats and oils, depending upon melting point. Based on melting point, we have two kinds of glycerides. So, once again, I am coming back from the beginning. Lipids may be a simple fatty acid, or lipids may be a simple glycerol. And many of the lipids have both glycerol as well as fatty acids. These lipids which have both glycerol and lip, uh, fatty acids are called glycerides. These glycerides may be monoglyceride, diglyceride, triglyceride. And these glycerides again on the basis of melting point, two kinds, fats and oils. Fats have high melting point. Whereas oils have low melting point. One of the best example for oil with low melting point is gingerly oil. Whereas fats, best example is ghee. Ghee is one best example that has high melting point. As oils have low melting point, so they remain in liquid state even in the winter. Whereas fats remain in solid state even in the summer. That is the main difference between fats and oils and some lipids have phosphorus and phosphorylated organic compounds very 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 important some lipids have phosphorus and phosphorylated organic compounds together and these lipids are called as phospholipids we have different examples for phospholipids one such example is lecithin and other example is cephalin. Lecithin is found in the cell membrane. It acts as a carrier for transportation of molecules. It is present in the cell membrane. Lecithin has glycerol, two fatty acids, two fatty acids there is also phosphoric acid and there is choline pot this are all present in lecithin lecithin is present in the plasma membrane or cell membrane it has glycerol pot two fatty acids one phosphoric acid and one choline Therefore, lecithin is also called phosphatidylcholine. Phosphatidylcholine. So, that is the importance of lecithin. There are some lipids which are present in the neural tissues. They are more complex in structure. Say, for example, myelin, sphingomyelin. These are all some examples. In the same way, cholesterol. is another important compound. Cholesterol is a steroid alcohol. Steroid alcohol. Steroids are derivatives of styrene compounds. These styrenes will have three hexane rings A, B, C and D is the pentane ring. Three hexane, these three hexane rings are present in non-linear manner and one pentane ring. Now the cholesterol, its molecular formula C27 H45 OH. At third carbon, there is a OH. At 10th and 13th position, there is methyl groups. 10th and 13th position, there is methyl groups. At 17th carbon, there is a open chain of 8 carbon open chain. 8 carbon open chain is attached to the 17th position. This is the structure of cholesterol. So, cholesterol has 
three hexane rings and one pentane ring, two methyl groups, one hydroxyl group and one open chain of eight carbons attached to the 17th position. Cholesterol is absent in all vegetables. Vegetables doesn't contain cholesterol. And uh, cholesterol is a steroid alcohol, I said. So this is what you can see with regard to the cholesterol. And these are the various kinds of lipids present in the living system. Now let us see some of the objective type of questions on lipids. Most of the questions uh, which are asked in previous NEET examinations on lipids is little bit simple and easy. Now let us see some important uh, you know objective type of questions. Lipids with the more complex structure is found in. Lipids with the more complex structure. I already told in, a, in my discussion that neural tissues have more complex lipids when compared to the other tissues. I have given some examples also like myelin, sphingomyelin. These are all some lipids with the more complexity in their structure. So here I have given options like muscle tissues. Tissues is not the correct option. The embryonic tissue is also not the correct option. Liver tissue is also not the correct option. The correct option is neural tissues. Neural tissues have more complex lipids when compared to the other tissues. So this is one important question. And next one, lecithin. Lecithin is not a cell wall component. It is not found in the cytoplasmic. It is not a cytoplasmic or nuclear component. It is a component of cell membrane because lecithin is is acting like a carrier molecule. So it is a membrane lipid, cell membrane lipid. It acts as a carrier molecule, helps in transportation of substances across the cell membranes. We also discussed that lecithin has some important components like glycerol it has, Two fatty acids also it is containing, one phosphoric acid and one choline. Therefore, lecithin is also called phosphatidylcholine. So, lecithin is a cell membrane component. This is another important question. Next, which of the following is a simple lipid? Just now we discussed lecithin is a conjugated or compound lipid. It is a phospholipid. Phospholipids or conjugated lipids. Conjugated or compound lipids. Phospholipids. So, it is not a simple lipids. Lipids basically two types. Simple lipids, conjugated lipids. Phospholipid is one kind of conjugated lipid. Lecithin is one example. Another example for phospholipid is cephalin. Cephalin. Whereas fatty acids and glycerol both come under simple lipids. Fatty acids as well as glycerol. Of course, glycerides are said to be the simple lipids. Glycerides have both glycerol and fatty acids in which Fatty acid is esterified with the glycerol. So, this is another important uh, thing we have to know. So, the correct option is both 1 and 2. So, this is what you can see with regard to the lipids. So, like that some simple questions will come in the neat examination. Thank you.